What up guys? Today we're about to talk about some video settings. A lot of you guys have asked me what settings I use from NVIDIA desktop settings to monitor settings to in-game resolution, brightness, all that stuff, colors. So I'm going to go over that right now and even try to include my monitor settings on this as well. So first things first, I guess we're going to jump straight into NVIDIA settings on desktop and go through some of those things and if I think settings are important. Now, one note really quick is I don't know a crap ton about what the best, best settings are for visuals. I know in game I, I like to use high settings and I'll go into a little bit more so I can see shadows which help with grenade lineups and things of that nature. If anyone has some cool information or data on like the optimal video settings for certain things include those in the comments below. Since I have a good computer I like to run on higher settings for one but I don't go on the highest right so you'll see more about my in-game settings in a sec. So for starters on desktop here NVIDIA control panel. I play black bars in games. So I have full screen perform scaling on GPU and then override scan load set by games. That makes it so black bars is full screen rather than black bars when you do a four by three resolution in game. Now to main stuff, uh, let's see, adjust desktop color settings. Everything's pretty standard. Digital environments up at 80. I like those extra colors, baby, a little bit in game. Keeps it nice and makes everything pop a little bit. Manage 3D settings, go in here. Now, a couple things that I kind of just look at right away is generally I turn these things off. I don't really have a big like profound reason to why. Normally, honestly, sometimes at tournaments, I'll literally just come down here I'll do perform max, prefer maximum performance for your power mode. I'll do um, highest refresh rate. Obviously, I want, I'm on 240 hertz like that. And then I'll go to high performance on texture filtering quality. And that's really it. I know some other stuff here can affect it if you have like a lesser computer, but I'm not going to 2080 and a 9900K. So I'm like not really tripping. I'm like right here, select off for best image quality. I don't know what you'd want to do for these. So if you guys want to educate me a little on those, I know that's why you came to this video. But I'm trying to be honest from the point of a pro that those are the only couple key things I look at, all right? guys. Next up, I want to talk before I go in game about monitor settings. So I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my little camera here and I'm going to pull up my monitor settings as we go through this. Now I'm on gamer one profile. That's just a profile name. I'm going to go in here and start with DYIC. I got at premium black equalizer 12 color vibrance 12 low blue light four. You could use zero. I just don't blue light is what's most harmful for your eyes. So you want to try to control how much blue light you can if you want. That's why people wear gunners and stuff like that. Instant mode on for sure uh, then you can save settings let's go back picture picture mode is my profile brightness 100% contrast 60 sharpness is 7 gamma setting 2 color temperature user defined AMA on premium although I know I know some people go high to me it looks a little less ghosty when I go to premium like when I like I look left and right so some people like to do high with that I like to just do premium and then display obviously you can see full screen and then system this is a 240 hertz monitor. I have the XL2546 by BenQ. Really enjoy it. All right, now we're gonna hop in game. What's the best resolution for CSGO? Now, people like Shroud and a number of other pros, I wish I had a list for you guys, have used 1920, which is native, right? I, thank you for the Overwatch XP. I, most recently and for, since 2015, been using 1024 by 768. Now, I'll tell you really quick. So, I was using black bars from 2015 to probably mid-2017 when I was done with C9, um, when I benched or whatever, when I was, I, I switched right to stretch for some reason, like a couple a month later, just for fun, because I, I played on first setup and it felt good. And I started liking how it felt with the left and right movement, but it will make your mouse move and feel faster left to right once it's a little bit different. Now, the only main difference between 19 or between like 169 reses and 4x3 reses, and you could also use 1610, but the main difference between 4x3 and I guess these two, it's the same for 1610 and 169, right? In terms of you could see more on the edges. So you could actually see more on the edge with 169 versus 4x3. And the reason that is, is because the aspect ratio in game, it literally just gives you a little bit more on the edge. You would ask, why don't every pro just use that resolution? Now, the reason a lot of pros use smaller or crappier, lower numbers rather, resolutions that might look less quality to you, is because a lot of people came from 1.6 in source. And a lot of people, when they first come to the game who, who check out what pros use, look at what pros use and they were the old school guys and they use lower reses. I played on 640 by 480 at 1.6 and 800 by 600, but mostly 640 by 480 towards the end. So it's just what we know. We don't need super high quality 1024 stretch is what I like and then moving down I use brightness. I actually do a hundred percent a lot of the times I was that on 80 for some reason uh, I don't know why I was at that do 130 even kind of whatever you prefer in terms of brightness full screen computer monitor So these some people use on low I like them on all high because I feel like for one when I have a very high C2 Molotov flames better with this resolution with these are all high and I Global shadow quality high because I like to see the edges on shadows so I could line up 
grenades from certain points on the ground. Anti-aliasing mode you don't need to have on, but like you could read what it says right there. I like to turn it up. It could decrease graphics performance or whatever, so if you have a really bad setup, maybe turn it off, but it can decrease so like the jagged edges and stuff when you're looking around. Anti-aliasing FXAA, I turn off. Trilinear uh, texture filtering, disabled vertical sync, disabled motion blur, and that's pretty much it. Um, is there anything I'm missing here? HUD. I mean, you guys know I use a small net graph, so instead of just a uh, full size net graph, I use net graph proportional font. See, that's full size. I use 0.5. Other than that, guys, there's not much more to the video settings. Um, resolution is something I will tinker with. I was using 1440 by 1080. This one's actually kind of a cool resolution to use because you're playing uh, 4 by 3 but you get the look and the clarity of like a 1920, but you have that stretch feel still, which I actually was using a lot recently on stream and could definitely play a competition with. It. So resolution is purely preference. I'll end it on that note, guys. You got to find what works for you. I mean, the, if you go down to 640 by 40, it's going to be tough to see. But aside from that, guys, you know, figure out what you like. And like, shit, I don't know if we can go in game really quick. Just for a second to show you an example on shadows, like for those of you who don't understand. So it's all this stuff, right? So this is what I mean by shadows, right? You want to be able to like be like, okay, I have a lineup for a corner along A. I don't have a lineup. Let's see if I can make one on the fly. So like, you definitely wouldn't want to line up where you get picked mid. But that's my point, right? So I want to be able to see these shadows on the ground and be able to throw things and then with molotov quick tip really quick the closer you are in a molotov the harder it is for them to see you right so if you're right behind that molotov see how hard it is for them to see you it's actually pretty clear i, I would say for 1024 on my screen because of the settings i use of high settings so if you're ever behind a molotov try to stay close to it because the person who's farther away is gonna have a harder time seeing you especially with worse settings that black smoke gets significantly worse all right guys hope this helped in some way that gave you some clarity on the video settings i use it's not profound but a lot of people people but way too much weight into video settings find what works for you find the colors you like and that should be just fine on your journey to pro or wherever you're at all right guys see you in the next video